Okay, I believe this is the very last of the chapter one uh, video screencast things. I, I apologize again that the audio has been so terrible on them. I have tried to improve the last few just a little bit anyway, and this should be pretty brief. We're talking about numerical data. What we're going to get into very soon, uh, within a couple of weeks, is not just looking at a single group, but looking at multiple groups, where you have one variable, so you have a measurement system that has the same possibilities, the same possible values, and you compare that across two or more groups, and you'll find it's very familiar. I'm going to use terms that are more technical than you might have used in the past to apply to this kind of thing, but you see this everywhere. You see this, you probably do this kind of thing uh, just when you're talking to people. Oh, well, who has more boyfriends on average? You know, girls in sororities or not in sororities. Or you can say, well, what kind of professor really gives out better grades? Uh, tenured professors, untenured professors, adjuncts or lecturers, right? You're you're taking a numerical value that could have high high versus low values or some values in between. And you're talking about averages or something, but an average, a different average for each group and comparing um, those averages to each other. So we never actually left numerical data in one way of looking at things because categorical data the way we analyze it almost always is by making it numerical. We just count the number of observations in each category, and then those counts become numbers. Those counts are numbers. They become numerical values. So here we have numerical data, but there's going to be a numerical variable crossed with a categorical variable, usually ordered or unordered categorical variable. And that's what the groups are made from. So in the example I suggested, like what type of professor gives out better grades? Type of professor is one of the variables, and grades is the other one. Type of professor is categorical, so assistant, associate, uh, lecturer, or adjunct. So we often have this situation with one or more numerical variables, and we want to look at the values, usually the averages, the means or the medians or something, in each group. And the groups are defined as the levels of a categorical variable. So our goals when we do this kind of analysis are usually to compare some sort of average or center values between the different groups. And the groups are defined by uh, a grouping variable, a categorical variable. And sometimes we want to compare variability between groups as well. When we get into t-tests and analysis of variance, you have to do both at once. You have to compare the means while accounting for the variability, or else your comparison doesn't work doesn't tell you what you want it to. So your setup is, although you don't realize it, and there's going to be a lot of this happening in statistics, like there, I, I will say multiple times in some of these lectures, you don't realize it, but, but, well, in these situations, you might think you only have one variable, but you have two. So the professors uh, and grades thing, there are two variables. Professors is one type of professor is one grade, one variable, and grade is the other variable. So you have the numerical variable that you're really interested in, and you might focus on that to the point where you forget that you have that categorical grouping variable that forms the groups. So you group the numerical variable by the levels of the categorical variable. There, have I said that enough ways, enough times in different ways? It's been like five or something since a couple of slides ago. Go back and watch it a million times until you get it. Um, one classic way to do that is side-by-side -side box plots. And... You can do box plots, which will show you medians. You can also do a plot that will show you means and confidence intervals around those means. Really similar. It's just a question of whether you want medians, which are more of a robust measurement, or means, which 